Shabazz and Bolt Engineer are playing around on element 14 to find good methods to build solder in uh, oscilloscope probes. So probes that you don't probe while you're working on a circuit, but where you have two leads that you can solder into place. Uh, that has a few advantages. One advantage is that you have your hands free, you don't have to keep on probing all the time. And the second one is that you have a very good contact. And I've been thinking about a few options. One option is this kind of probe, the HP9100, which is a generic probe available uh, with several suppliers. And there is something specific with this one. If you yank the tip off, you get a coaxial uh, plug at the end. So you could build, if you could find uh, the female part of this one, you could build contraptions that you just put up on this, uh, on this wire. But I'm thinking about something else at this moment. What I'm thinking about is uh, to use uh, separate wires and just uh, wind them around these two tips and then bring those outside, either as uh, loose wires or as uh, uh, two of these uh, Dupont connections, so that you can uh, use them to probe locally and solder the ends in. Then I'd use some of the uh, heat shrink that I have here to keep the things in place. What's the advantage? Uh, one advantage is that you still have the times 10 resistor in the header and you don't have to invent your own uh, divider and have to keep uh, or have to solder in a little resistor. The other advantage is that if you cut away the heat shrink later on, you still have your probe intact and uh, you have not lost anything. So the first part is done. And what I did is I took one of these power resistors and then uh, wound a lead of a normal resistor around it. This comes from W2AEW. Uh, he has a video on how to make performance oscilloscope probes and I just reduced it. So now I'm going to use this part of the lead here to make uh, a, a pigtail for the, for the grounding and then I'll solder uh, these two Dupont wires in and use some heat shrink to wrap everything up. Part 2 done is the same resistor, I just used the other leg here, uh, I wound it around this screwdriver, it has a little bit smaller diameter than the probe tip, so if you, run, if you wind it around here then take it off, uh, it will fit snugly on the ground part of your probe. So now I'll cut off this resistor and continue. I'm first preparing the ground connection, so this is the one that I wound around this screwdriver. I've tinted the pin and here on my uh, Dupont connector I have cut off the male parts of the leads, uh, put a heat shrink on it before uh, starting the exercise and then I am going, I've also tinted the, the wire here and I'm going to just solder it over and then heat shrink the two parts together. Okay, and in the meantime I've also prepared the heat shrink that will go over the complete part here. So because once you have things soldered up it's much more difficult to do that. Okay, the two wires are together, so now I'll move the heat shrink over and then heat it up. I've put heat shrink on the other part here, cut it to size so I fit it where this one would fit, where the ground would fit on the probe and then checked how much of the pin has to overlap with uh, the positive, with uh, the, the real action point of the probe. I'll now solder these two together after I've put the ground around the probe. Uh, then move the heat shrinks over, heat shrink them, and then move the big blue heat shrink over. And that should be it. The design is almost finished. I'm going to do a last thing, and that is put a red heat shrink around uh, this connector here to show which one is the active part of the probe. That's it, finished. It's still a normal probe with times one, times two, so the behavior is the same. Uh, we have these contraptions on the end, uh, which you can use to fit cables in and uh, wires in or to put them on uh, on headers. Another alternative is to just cut these off and solder these wires directly to your circuit. Or what I could do, uh, use the other side of the uh, the deep point headers that I've uh, cut off, uh, connect them to this side, and uh, oh, this is difficult on camera, and then solder these parts into the circuit. Uh, you can make them as long as or short as you want. The maximum cost is one part of a Dupont cable. So that's my idea of uh, building a probe that you can use as a soldering probe. Bye.